I think expecting anything good out of the RNC, <laughs> you're, yeah. you're asking to be severely disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> to put it mildly. But that's, you know, th this is the thing about working within the Republican Party, at least that I've come to as a conclusion, that if you are going to work within the Republican Party, don't expect to be included. Governor, why does New Hampshire need to be ruled from Washington? This morning's unemployment numbers? Hi. Very disappointing. A lot of people still hurting. If you're a libertarian and there are non-libertarians in charge of the party apparatus, they are not, their, their point is not to grow the party in terms of people who believe in certain things. Their point of growing the party is to grow the party of people who will go along with whatever the leadership says. And if you're trying to be included and your sh entire shtick is, we're not gonna go along with the leadership says, like, this is gonna be the reaction. So the conclusion that I've come to is, if you're gonna work within the Republican Party as a libertarian, and I would never say that you shouldn't, because I, I, we'll, we'll come back to that. But if you're going to be working within the Republican Party, if you don't have 51%, you got butt kiss. Well, the, th the whole Republican Party is about Collect collectivism. Any party is about collectivism. Libertarian is. <gasps> you mean we can't have a libertarian party? <laughs> no, but the whole point. Uh, libertarians are a bunch of individuals who have something in common, who kind of get together and do. Uh, even the the real political action, any real success we've had, has all been grassroots. It's all been on a very individual. Right, Basically. or Ron Paul being able to win a congressional seat, or Justin Amash, or any of the candidates that like Bentivoglio, who look like they're poised to win uh, congressional seats, but it's because they've seen a very specific opportunity where they can get to 51% of the control of the party, either in a popular vote in a certain area, or in a primary, or within the party mechanism they can take over. But if you don't have 51%, No recording devices allowed of any type. It doesn't, you don't have anything. And when it, when, it, when it comes to working on the national level, like should we support a Republican presidential candidate, well, if it's an opportunity to spread the message, and this is a different consideration we'll come back to, but if, if you can't get to 51% within the Republican Party, but maybe you could get to 51% in the general population, then working within the Republican Party is holding you back. We should do everything as libertarians to teach the GOP a lesson. While declaring ourselves Republican. <laughs> yes. This sounds really defeatist now, like, if you can't beat them, join them and be just as douchebaggy as they are. I, you know, it's like th this argument of, well, let's do it to teach them a lesson, that's, that's really empowering them. That means that, that their opinion of you is dictating your behavior. So you, you, this doesn't discount working within the GOP altogether, but this argument doesn't hold any water for me. Yeah, I giving any legitimacy to them at all on that <laughs> level just <laughs> and I, I'll always keep going back to it. it. You just you ignore them. You you use their platform and then you just walk away. <laughs> it would make their job easier if we left. Now that might be true in the sense of like short term, immediate political stuff. If your goal is to make life harder for Republicans, be a libertarian in the Republican Party. Knock yourself out. If your goal is to spread the message of liberty and wake people up, continue the paradigm shift, or achieve real policy changes for liberty, you might want to consider another route. Yeah, <laughs> I would definitely agree with that. And to, to sit, to hold yourself back by trying to work within the Re Republican Party the whole entire time and, and sitting there and talking to, um, we were having the conversation last night about how Ron Paul has kind of tapped all of the, the lower hanging fruit in the, within the Republican Party. Um, so to sit around and within the Republican Party and try and talk to everybody who's right. not going to He's already converted everyone who is re at least ready to hear the message easily. Right. And this isn't that he ta he's got everybody who could hear it. Uh, you know, everybody's a libertarian, they just haven't figured it out yet. And, and certainly in that sense, no neocon is beyond redemption. But I supported Ron Paul as much as I did for two reasons. One was the possibility of winning. 
And I did believe that, that was at least a small but reasonable possibility that a loan was worth working for. But more importantly, that he was spreading the message and provided an, a, an, an avenue for that for others. And by supporting him, you are supporting him reaching out to others as well as other people using, having a more effective tool in talking about the message of liberty by referencing Ron Paul, his positions, his platform, and, and, and his campaign.